On the shimmering sapphire canvas of the Adriatic Sea, a city of dreams floats like a dazzling mirage. Venice, often referred to as the Queen of the Adriatic, emerges as an enchanting tableau of a labyrinth of waterways and serpentine alleys. This city is a harmonious blend of grand palaces that speak of its glorious past, and humble homes that add to its rustic charm. Each corner, each turn, each building, bathed in the golden glow of the sinking sun, exudes a timeless elegance that seems to be etched into the very soul of Venice. Delve deeper, and one would find that the city whispers tales that are as grand as its architectural marvels. Tales of romance that are sure to melt the coldest hearts, tales of awe-inspiring art that has the power to leave one speechless, and tales of intrigue that have the potential to captivate one's mind. Each tale, each story, each legend seems to be carried by the gently lapping waters of the city's canals, creating a symphony of sounds that is both haunting and mesmerizing. Today, we invite you to step aboard our gondola as we take you on a journey through the enchanting waterways of this floating city. We will traverse through narrow canals and under ancient bridges, unveiling the top 10 sites that make Venice a dream destination for countless hearts across the globe. With each site, we promise a peek into the city's rich history and vibrant culture, a taste of its delicious cuisine, and a glimpse into the soul of Venice. Today, we embark on a journey through the winding waterways of this floating city, unveiling the top 10 sites that make Venice a dream destination for countless hearts across the globe. At number 10, we find Scala Contarini del Bovolo. This isn't merely a lesser known monument. It's a veritable treasure trove of architectural splendor, nestled covertly in the bustling milieu of the city. Far away from the glaring eyes of the crowd, its grandeur lies hidden, waiting to be discovered, waiting to bewitch its visitors. The distinct design of this place is nothing less than a vision of genius. The Scala Contarini del Bovolo is an architectural marvel, a monument that embodies the spirit of Venice, its love for the extravagant and its respect for beauty. Its construction is a tribute to the spiraling staircase, a design so unique it leaves everyone in awe. Each step of this remarkable staircase is a step towards an unparalleled panoramic view of Venice. The view it offers is not just a view, it's an experience, an encounter with the city's soul. As you ascend the steps, Venice unravels herself before you, layer by layer. From the azure canals that ribbon through the city, to the terracotta rooftops that shelter its people, every corner of Venice can be seen. This is not just a glimpse, it is the heart and soul of the city in all its glory. Every visitor who ventures up the secret staircase is rewarded with a sight that is simply mesmerizing. The feeling of standing there, high above the city, taking in the view, is something that leaves an indelible mark on your heart. It's something you carry with you long after you've left the city, a sight that leaves visitors spellbound. Our ninth stop, the Scuola Grande di San Rocco, is an art lover's paradise. Nestled in the heart of Venice, this grand institution is more than just a school. It's a treasure trove, a shrine to the genius of the Renaissance. It stands as a testament to the wealth and culture of a bygone era, a reminder of a time when Venice was the undisputed queen of the Adriatic. The Scuola Grande is particularly famed for housing an extensive collection of works by Tintoretto, one of the leading figures of the Venetian School of Art. Tintoretto, whose real Jacopo Comen, was a prolific artist and an integral part of the 16th century Venetian Renaissance. His paintings, renowned for their dramatic lighting and bold use of color, adorn the walls of the Scuola Grande, transforming the school into a living museum. From the moment you step inside, you are transported back to the days of the Republic of Venice, a time when art was not just a hobby, but a way of life. Every corner of the Scuola Grande whispers stories of genius and creativity, of the city's glorious past and its love for the arts. The grandeur of the art within the Scuola Grande di San Rocco is truly breathtaking. Each masterpiece is a window into the soul of Venice, allowing visitors to pulse of the city and its people. It's a veritable playground for art aficionados, a place where they can lose themselves in the beauty of the past. Indeed, the grandeur of the art within its walls mirrors the city's own splendor. Each brushstroke reflects the city's unique blend of history and culture, its timeless charm, and its enduring love for beauty. It's a visual feast that's not to be missed on any visit to Venice. Remember, the grandeur of the art within the Scuola Grande di San Rocco mirrors the city's own splendor. At number 8, the Basilica di Santa Maria Gloriosa dei Frari beckons. 
This arresting structure, situated in Venice, Italy, stands majestically amidst the hustle and bustle of the city. With a facade of rich red brick and a towering stature, it proudly represents the architectural brilliance of the bygone era. This historical gem isn't just a church, it's a grand tapestry woven with the threads of art, history, and spirituality. Stepping inside, you are immediately engulfed by awe-inspiring spaces that speak volumes about the city's rich past. The walls echo with centuries of devotion, while the air carries the faint scent of incense and aged wood. The church is home to a vast collection of art, the crown jewel being Titian's Assumption. This masterpiece, along with numerous others, is carefully preserved within the hallowed halls of the Basilica. The painting, depicting the ascension of the Virgin Mary into heaven, is a marvel of Renaissance artistry. Its bold colors and dramatic composition are a testament to Titian's unparalleled skill and creativity. This towering edifice of red brick, one of the city's greatest churches, is a treasure trove of masterpieces, including Titian's Assumption. The Bridge of Sighs, our seventh stop, is a poignant symbol of Venice's history. It is a unique architectural marvel, a testament to the creativity and vision of the Venetian architects. The structure itself is constructed from Istrian stone, a beautiful pale limestone that was very popular during the Renaissance period. It's an enclosed bridge, one of the few left in the world, and its name, the Bridge of Sighs, evokes a sense of melancholy and despair. There's a story behind the name. It was once the final view of beautiful Venice for prisoners who were on their way to the city's prison. These prisoners, after being convicted of their crimes, would be led across the bridge before they were imprisoned. The view from the bridge, the last glimpse of the city's beauty, was said to evoke a sigh of despair from the prisoners. This sigh, a poignant symbol of their loss of freedom, is what gave the bridge its name. It's said to be a chilling reminder of the darker side of the city's history. But despite its grim past, the Bridge of Sighs remains one of Venice's most visited and photographed landmarks today. Its beauty and the story behind it continue to captivate visitors from around the world. The bridge, with its intricate design, paired with the beautiful and serene waters of the Venice Canal below, creates a striking contrast between beauty and despair. This enclosed bridge was once the final view of Venice for prisoners before their imprisonment, evoking a sigh of despair, hence its name. Our sixth destination is the Peggy Guggenheim Collection. This gem of a museum, discreetly tucked away on the teeming edges of the picturesque Grand Canal, provides a serene oasis in the bustling city of Venice. As you step across its threshold, you are transported into a realm of modern art, a sanctuary for all lovers of creativity and innovation. The museum houses an awe-inspiring collection that echoes the evolution of the modern art movement. It is a treasure trove of Cubist masterpieces, a testament to the revolutionary artistic genius of artists like Pablo Picasso and Juan Gris. The Surrealist section, filled with captivating works of Salvador Dali and Max Ernst, takes you through a dreamlike journey exploring the depths of the unconscious mind. The abstract expressionist works of Pollock and de Kooning defy conventional aesthetic standards, creating a dialogue between the viewer and the artwork. Every single room in this museum is a dedicated space to marvel at human creativity, to appreciate the power of artistic expression, and to immerse yourself in the mesmerizing world of modern art. Nestled on the banks of the Grand Canal, this modern art museum is home to an impressive collection of cubist, surrealist, and abstract expressionist art. Teatro La Fenice at number five is a phoenix that has risen from the ashes time and again. Nestled in the heart of Venice, this architectural marvel flaunts an aura of grandeur and history that is truly captivating. The name La Fenice, which translates to the phoenix, encapsulates the opera house's legendary resilience, having been rebuilt from the ashes multiple times following two devastating fires. Stepping inside, one is immediately engulfed by the opulence and splendor of its interior design. The lavish adornments, gold leaf gilding and plush red velvet drapery combine to create a setting that is as visually stunning as it is historically significant. Each detail has been meticulously crafted, reflecting the skilled workmanship of the bygone era. The grand stage has borne witness to countless operas, ballets, and symphonic performances, its magnificent acoustics amplifying the magical symphonies that have graced its halls. The entire building sings with an air of nostalgia as it still resonates with the echoes of grand operas and symphonies. At number four, the Canal Grand and Rialto Bridge. The Grand Canal, also known as Venice's primary waterway, 
is a place where charm and history meet. A place that is not just a waterway, but the very lifeblood of the city. This canal is a spectacle of floating palaces, embodying the grandeur of the city that was once a significant maritime power. These floating palaces, once homes to the rich and powerful, tell tales of the city's past glory and opulence. Adding to the charm are the gondolas, traditional Venetian rowing boats, gracing the canal water. A gondola ride, often accompanied by a serenade, offers a unique and romantic perspective of Venice's architectural gems. The best place to experience all of this is undoubtedly from the iconic Rialto Bridge. This stone arch bridge is not just a crossing point, but a viewpoint offering a breathtaking panorama of the Grand Canal. Its balustrade is the perfect place to pause, enjoy the view, and even capture pictures of this timeless cityscape. The Grand Canal, Venice's main waterway, is a spectacle of floating palaces and gondolas, best experienced from the iconic Rialto Bridge. Doge's Palace, our third stop, is a masterpiece of Gothic architecture. Situated in the heart of Venice, this imposing edifice is a testament to the city's rich and vibrant history. As you approach the structure, the first thing you will notice is its grandeur and magnitude. The palace is a harmonious blend of the Gothic and Renaissance architectural styles, with the former's pointed arches and ribbed vaults adding a layer of mystery and intrigue. Once the epicenter of political power and decision-making in the city, the palace's history is interwoven with that of Venice itself. Walking through its grand halls and corridors, you can almost hear the whispers of strategies and political intrigues that once filled the air. The palace houses a series of fascinating artifacts, each bearing witness to the city's past. Stroll through the beautifully adorned rooms, marvel at the stunning artwork that adorns the walls, and immerse yourself in the grandeur of the past. The palace's stunning facade, its remarkable artwork, and its historical significance make it a must-see attraction for anyone visiting Venice. It is now a museum that chronicles the city's glorious past. Offering a glimpse into the life and times of Venice's ruling class, the museum exhibits are as grand as the palace itself. From the lavish living quarters of the Doge to the council chambers where important decisions were made, each room in the palace tells a unique story. Each artifact, each painting, each piece of furniture is a piece of the jigsaw that is Venice's past. Doge's Palace invites you to dive deep into this history and revel in the city's past glory. Our second stop is St. Mark's Square, the beating heart of Venice. Standing in the midst of the square, we are captivated by the glorious sight of marble buildings that surround us. Each edifice, a testament to the city's rich history, tells a story of its own. St. Mark's Square is a stage where the past and the present blend seamlessly into a beautiful symphony. The Grand Square, a large open space adorned with intricate mosaics and towering sculptures, holds a charm that's uniquely Venetian. During the day, the square is filled with a captivating hustle and bustle. Local vendors set up their stalls selling authentic Italian goods, while tourists with their cameras and guidebooks explore the square's architectural marvels. The cafes around the square are teeming with patrons sipping their espressos, relishing gelatos, and feasting on traditional Italian fare. As the sun dips below the horizon, the square undergoes a magical transformation. The cafes and live music venues light up, giving the square a vibrant, energetic atmosphere. Musicians take their position near the campanile, their melodious notes echoing across the square and adding a layer of charm to the night. The hearty laughter of locals, the chatter of tourists, and the melodious notes of live music create a symphony that fills the air, making the place a vibrant blend of locals and tourists. And all of this, this spectacle of culture, history, and life, happens under the watchful eyes of the towering Campanile. This towering bell tower, standing tall and proud, has been a silent witness to the life in St. Mark's Square for centuries. No matter the time of day, no matter the season, the Campanile stands guard, its silent vigil adding to the magic of St. Mark's Square. And finally, at number one, St. Mark's Basilica. This breathtaking structure towering over the heart of Venice is truly the embodiment of grandeur and majesty. With its awe-inspiring, heavily adorned facade, it stands as an enduring symbol of the city's illustrious past. It is a masterful creation, adorned with intricate, mesmerizing mosaics that seem to narrate countless tales of a time when Venice was at the pinnacle of its glory. Each of these mosaics, painstakingly created from thousands of tiny, shimmering tiles, is a testament to the astonishing craftsmanship of the period. The basilica also houses precious relics, each with its own fascinating story. 
These relics, preserved in all their glory, serve as a poignant reminder of the city's deeply rooted religious heritage. They represent a bygone era when Venice was a beacon of wealth and power during its golden age. So there you have it, the top 10 must-see sites of Venice. Each one of these amazing places is a unique chapter in the fascinating story of this city. A city that has stood the test of time, displaying an extraordinary blend of art, history, and culture. You traverse the labyrinth of narrow alleys and bridges, you will discover the city's rich tapestry, woven with a history that dates back to more than a thousand years. Venice, the floating city, invites you to witness its timeless beauty. Its well-preserved buildings, ancient churches, and ornate palaces are a testament to its glorious past. The famous canals, the city's lifelines, are much more than just picturesque waterways. They pulse with life, echoing the melodies of love and the rhythms of life that have resonated through the city for centuries. But to truly understand Venice, you must experience it. Feel the city's pulse as you ride in a gondola, listen to the serenades of the gondoliers, and marvel at the grandeur of the palaces lining the Grand Canal. Visit the bustling fish market at Rialto, soak in the vibrant energy of the Piazza San Marco, and witness the breathtaking views from the Campanile. Go explore and fall in love with the Queen of the Adriatic.